I found myself increasingly yelling at the television set uh, or at a book I was reading or at the newspaper. And uh, while this seemed to purge some of the spleen that accumulated within me, uh, it wasn't doing any good. And so uh, finally I decided I, I would uh, try to put Pixel to screen and, and, and explain why it was I was so angry. Too often policies are uh, developed for reasons having to do with hope rather than experience, uh, using theories rather than data. Now sometimes we haven't got any data and you just have to go with the best hope that you have, the best guess you could make, uh, and, and then uh, be willing to change as we accumulate experience, as we accumulate data. Uh, unfortunately, there are lots of areas, or fortunately, uh, there are lots of areas in which we do have data uh, and we do have evidence that suggests what kinds of policies will work and what kinds won't work. And, and uh, it, it seems sensible to bring, those, bring that evidence uh, forward and say, well, here are some policies uh, and, and here is evidence to suggest that those policies uh, are wrong. Uh, I've, I'm a great believer in evidence. Uh, in, in science, the way science typically works, uh, is, is, and this isn't original with me, it began certainly with, with uh, Aristotle and, and most recently by Richard Feynman where he said that the way that science develops is first we make a guess, then we see the implications of that guess, and then we gather data to see if those implications hold true. And, uh, and if they don't, if the data uh, conflict with what we guessed, then that guess is wrong. And it doesn't matter how beautiful the guess is, it doesn't matter how smart you are or how much you want it to be true, uh, if, it, if it conflicts with the data, then it's wrong. And that's all there is to it. And we have a lot of policies that are being promulgated now in which uh, we have data. And the data say those policies are just wrong. Uh, whether it has to do with using student test scores to evaluate teachers or uh, not requiring uh, entrance exams for, for universities, uh, we have, we have data, we don't have a huge amount of data, but we have data, uh, and that data says that these policies are incorrect. At the very least, it means that before we implement policies in which we have counter data, we should gather more data uh, to confirm what, we've, what, what seems to be the case. And, and that's one of the reasons why this book has been, why, why I wrote this book, is to lay out both the case for using evidence and the kinds of, and what the evidence is uh, saying so far. The takeaway message of the book is, is the use of evidence. Uh, and what I hope that people will do is when they're confronted with advice, policy, uh, procedures, they ask themselves, and then perhaps the person who's offering this, what would be the evidence that could support such a policy? It, there's a lot of advice being given in which um, in which it's impossible for data, to, evidence to have been gathered. Instead, what happens is that people confuse two events that happen simultaneously with somehow being causative. Trying to show causality is not an easy thing to do. Uh, it is possible. We do know a lot of things that, are, that do cause other things, uh, but it requires care and, and it requires evidence. That, that's gathered carefully. And, and uh, by choosing a lot of different examples in this book, I hope I set up that kind of skepticism uh, where it, 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 I guess you might call it the I'm from Missouri skepticism. Uh, you know, okay, you're, you're, you're offering this sort of advice. What's your evidence?